episode. So in today's video, I'll be showing you how you can transfer YouTube channel's email from one email to another email. Probably you want to sell your YouTube channel and you don't want to give access to your primary email. I'm going to show you exactly how you can change the primary owner of the YouTube account. So ensure to watch this video from beginning to the end. Without any further ado, let me quickly show you the step-by-step -step guide. So the first thing is to come to settings. We are going to come to settings to check if your account is actually branded account or personal account. So you are going to click on this channel over here. Click on channels. Then you are going to click on advanced settings. Click on advanced settings. Then you are going to click on manage YouTube account. Click on manage YouTube account. So it's loading up. So as you can see, there is option for add and remove manager. So, but most most of the time, you can actually have this kind of option over here. But let's let's click on it. So if you are not seeing manage account over here, that means your YouTube channels is not branded account. So the best thing you have to do is to actually convert your personal account to branded YouTube account. So we are going to do it. If you have option for you to actually change your manager or you want to change your permission you can actually continue with this tutorial but due to the fact that there's no option over here we are going to migrate this particular youtube channels to branded account for us to migrate this particular youtube channel to branded account you have to go back to youtube then also click on manage youtube account again click on it so over here we have to click on add or manage youtube channels so click on manage youtube channels so we are going to actually convert this account to branded account so it's loading up so we are going to create a new youtube channel click on create a channels then we are going to name it like test one name it any name test one most times it's only advisable to actually create a separate youtube channel if you want to convert your personal account to branded account so we are going to click on create over here so it's requesting for verification so i'm going to verify this particular youtube channel because i'm just creating it new so i'm going to verify it so I'm going to paste the number I want to use over here, then click on send SMS, click continue. So they're going to send SMS to this particular phone number and get my YouTube account verified. So it's loading up. So we have surely created the YouTube channels. As you can see, this is the new YouTube channel. So the next thing we have to do is to go back to, we are going to switch it to our primary channel, which is, let's click on switch over here. Then we are going to, this is the channel we want to migrate to this new channel we just created. Now you need to go to the YouTube studio, click on YouTube studio to actually show you the dashboard of our primary channels. So it's loading up. So after getting there, you are going to go back to settings again, settings over here. Then, then also channels, advanced settings, then scroll down a little bit to manage your YouTube account. So it's going to load up. This is where we are going to do the magic right now. So we are going to click on view advanced settings, view about settings. Then right now, what we want to do is to actually to migrate this, our channels to the new channel we just created. So we are, we are going to click on move channel. So move channels to Google account or a different brand. So let's click on it. So it's loading up. So now right now it's going to ask me for the password of this particular account before we can actually move this channel to a new branded channel let me quickly add my password so i'm going to add my password over here so then click on next okay so i've successfully added my password so right now i'm going to replace this particular one so you know we have we created this channel test one so most times you have to create a fresh channel to do this migration we are going to click on replace channel replace and mind you, if you want to do it, they are going to delete every information about this particular channel if you have a subscriber or anything. So since a new channel, we are going to click on agree, then click on delete. So this particular channel is going to be transferred to uh, to this new channel we created. So we are going to click on move. So it's going to take like 15 or 20 minutes for YouTube to actually do it. YouTube has completed successfully. So it takes like 10 minutes. So we are going to go back to our channel. So this is the new channel. Let's switch. So this is the new channel, as you can see, it has actually recorded as a branded channel. So the next thing we have to do is to, okay, it's loading up. So as you can see, welcome to YouTube studio. So we actually move the old channels to this new channel. So let's click on continue over here. Then we are going to go back to settings over here. So it's going to load up. So settings then over to channels again, then advanced settings. So scroll down and move I manage YouTube channel rather, so it's going to load up. So right now we can be able to use this particular option, which is add or move manager. So let's click on it. 
So as you can see, you know, we actually have this manage permission. You know, before we couldn't have this particular option. So with this particular option, we can be able to add manager, owner, or primary user. So let's click on manage permission. So it's going to ask for verification. So I'm going to enter the code I shall receive on my phone. So right now I can be able to manage permission over here. So as you can see, this is the primary owner of this particular channel. So we can actually invite other users. So we are going to click on invite others. So let me go back to another one of my account to copy the email that I want to invite. So I'm going to invite this particular email, copy, then come over to this channel. So paste the email over here. So you can choose the role you want to actually add for this channel. So you can actually make it make this email manager or owner. We are going to make this email owner of this YouTube channel. We are going to click on owner, then invite, then click on done over here. So right now we actually invited this particular email. So I'm going to check the uh, my inbox over here to actually see if I've, if I've received the email or not. So I'm going to refresh it. So as you can see, we actually got a new mail from uh, this particular email. So we are going to click on accept invitation. So accept invitation, then accept again. So I'm going to go back to YouTube. And if you check over here, we can actually see that we actually have access to this particular YouTube channel. So when you click on it, we are going to see the dashboard over here. So we can actually do anything on this particular channel as a owner of the channel. So, but we actually concerned about owning this channel fully. So I'm going to go back to my old account. So go back to the dashboard. So close down over here. So I'm going to show you that this email is still the original owner, primary owner. But let's go back over here, then click on manage. Then manage permission then enter the password so we are going to we are going to click on manage permission so as you can see this is the primary owner of this particular youtube channel and this is the uh, email we actually invite just now so we are going to wait for like uh, seven days before you can actually change this email to primary owner so i'm going to pause this video and wait for the seven days to actually make sure that we change it to primary owner so i will update you a few moments later so welcome back guys after waiting for about seven days we are going to change the primary owner so we are going to click on manage youtube account so manage YouTube account is loading up then click on add and remove manager so click on add and remove manager then manage permission so manage permission so let's click on let's click on it again so as you can see this is the original owner of this youtube channel so we are going to be transferring the ownership complete ownership of this uh, youtube channel to Kamala Fair of Miami. so all we have to do now since we have waited for like seven days we are going to click on it then click on actually primary owner so we are going to click on it then transfer as you can see make Kamala Fair of Miami the primary owner of this test one so we are going to make the make this particular email the primary owner transfer and it's going to transfer the ownership to this new email as you can see the new owner of this channel is actually Kamala Fair and this primary owner is actually have the right to delete the old email so if your sole intention is actually to sell your youtube channel this is the step-by-step -step guide so we'll actually help you out so all you have to do is just to delete yourself this is the old email all you have to do is just to re remove it over here and be able to allow the new user to access the youtube channel so let me go back to my this is my new email over here so let, when we click on it we are going to see that i have full access to this youtube channel i can be able to add manager delete manager so i hope this video actually help you out if you do please give it a thumbs up and if you have any question you can actually drop it in the comment section below i will actually try much as possible to respond to each of your video if you want to start face like youtube channel you can actually watch this next video that is going to display on your screen thanks for watching this video i will see my next video cheers